What's going on guys? Ryan here with Jetta Patrol and it's SDCC Day. Let's go! All right, another pop I really had no intention of buying, and then when I saw it in the store, I had to have it. Uh, I got these, I got two of them, honestly, and I, I, I don't know. You ever like, you ever do that? You say like, I, I don't really want that, and then you see it in person, you're like, I have to have it. That was one of, that, that's what happened here, guys. I got 8-bit Fix-It Felix, and I got 8-bit Wreck-It Ralph. I think these are super cool. Let me give you a little close-up on these guys so you can check them out. And there you go. So I just think they look really, really super cool. Obviously, video games being an 8-bit, these made sense to be an 8-bit. I, I, I thought they were cool. I like these. Got the hammer. I mean, it's essentially the same pop that they made you know, a while back. They just made them an 8-bit. And I don't know. I just thought they looked cool. So I picked those up. Again, unplanned, but I got them anyways. It's one of those things. If you caught the mega stream last night, you probably saw that I got this at Target yesterday. I picked this guy up and I actually had him out of the box, but I put him back in the box to make it easier to display somewhere over here. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this, but since I got the Basilisk and then I picked up Nearly Headless Nick, uh, I thought it fitting that I go ahead and get Moaning Myrtle. Now her voice is absolutely just, will drive you insane. But the actress who played it did a very good job, and I thought it was a cool pop. So I thought Moaning Myrtle went well with the Basilisk, and I just thought it made sense to go ahead and get them. Again, I think I'm kind of digging the, the Harry Potter line. I'm really on the fence with the uh, five-star ones. If you guys like the five-star ones, put them in the comments down below. Tell me your thoughts on them. Whether you hate them, like them, whatever. If you are collecting those, let me know. I, I'm I'm on the fence. Like this, the price point's good. It's got some articulation. That's not bad. The detail's good. Uh, you know, I, I'm not. I don't hate them. I just haven't decided whether or not I want to kind of pick some of them up. So if you are going to pick them up, put them in the comments down below. Next up, we've got somebody who really needs no introduction, but I'm going to introduce him anyways. There's a show called Parks and Rec. You guys know it. They had a exclusive for ECCC. Now they've got one for SDCC, and I had to have it. This is Ron Swanson. All right, so if you remember Parks and Rec with this episode where his ex-wife shows back up and he goes crazy and ends up in jail and all that kind of stuff, it's, it's, it's a great episode. I love Ron Swanson. I think he's a great character. The actor who plays him does a great job. Uh, one of my favorite scenes is when he uh, gets that, uh, de that circular desk and he just has to spin around and around and around trying to avoid the people so he doesn't want to help them. I just thought that was pretty funny. So um, I got this one. Side note, I actually picked one of these up and I exchanged it for another one while I was in line because I noticed some paint issues on the hand. So you might want to watch out for that. Some of the blue uh, from his uh, robe, kimono, whatever the heck that thing is, uh, was on his hand. So I actually exchanged that while I was there in store. So I didn't have to mess with it when I got home. Next up, guys, is a pop that I really don't know that much about. And I just thought it was cool, so I bought one. Um... That's, I guess, that, is that a good reason? I don't know, it's a good reason for me. I got Super Saiyan Broly, how awesome is that? This one right here is super, super detailed. Check this out. I love the like spiked hair thing they got going on. I just, he's got the abs, he's got, I mean, it's just, it's a cool pop. I don't know much about the character. I'm definitely gonna check it out. I used to watch Dragon Ball Z when I was in college, when I had time to watch stuff like that. Now I spend all my time watching YouTube, so. I don't know, one of those things, but I like that one. I did get uh, a few other pops online, one of them being Dead Yamcha. Definitely got that one, but uh, I didn't pick it up in store because I picked it up last night online, so it'll be delivered whenever it gets here. When it gets here, I'll show it to you, although by then you'll probably be tired of seeing it. Next one I got up, guys, was this one from Star Wars Cad Bane. I think this dude is freaking awesome. Now, the box is a little weird. Let's see if I can get it to focus for you. Um, I don't really understand the yellow in the uh, design of the box because it doesn't match anything in any other Star Wars line. And as you see, he's a one of one. There are no other pops in the line. So I don't, uh, I don't know. It just, it's gonna look weird. Like it's gonna be the only yellow one. The Rebels have more of an orange, orange issue. The Last Jedi is obviously red and black and white. I, I don't understand the yellow, I don't understand the color. So maybe that's a taste of things to come. I don't know. Uh, regardless, the dude is awesome and um, I had to have him, had to have him. I got two of those because, you know, I had to. Moving on to FYE. 
Oh man, I tell you, these were these are two that I don't know. We were talking on a live stream, and I said they, they were. Cletus was freaking out about this thing on, because the Fye website did not want to work on the live stream. It, it was insane, but it was actually quite entertaining because they were freaking out, going nuts, and the, and the site wouldn't work. And I'm like, oh man, I don't even care about this pops. So I'm not even bothering. So I just sat back here in my chair and I watched these guys as they're freaking out trying to get the site. It was freezing, crashing, all that kind of stuff. The website's wow. crashing. Oh, what no. site should I go for? I don't, I don't think it's actually live yet. I think the links are there, but they're not good. I, well, I think we all should stay live. Skeeter yeah. is up. Oh, they, 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 let's go see. Quick. Let's see the world freak out. Let's let's keep this live as all the YouTubers Brr. are trying to buy pops. This is That's I'm trying to avoid that. I think to make sure everybody gets what they want. This is gonna be the greatest up. thing ever. Oh, I got to click on Skeeter. Skeeter. Skeeter's up again. Oh my god, it's so loud. My website is not even loading. Oh oh, Stinkcore is up. Uh, Stinkcore is up too. Oh no, it says wait. So oh my god, what's going on? No. And I said, uh, I said I don't even want that thing. That it was, you know. Anyways, whatever. Here it is. I bought it anyways. It is Skeeter from Doug. I went to uh, Manifest, which is actually an Fye sister store. Uh, but there's Doug or Skeeter. Sorry. From the show, Doug. Honestly, probably going to be a giveaway. I don't see me keeping this, so probably going to be a giveaway. Next up, guys, I got Stinkor from Masters of the Universe. Check this thing out. Let's see if we can get you. There you go. So it, this one's super cool, and the only reason I bought this one is because of this sticker. I, I just, I just want to know what it smells like, so I'm going to open it. Now, Cletus on our live stream opened one up and said it smelled like an old man. I don't know what that means. I mean, I have an idea, but I, I wanna know. So I'm gonna open this thing up. We're gonna see if we can't make this work. You go over there, box. And let's see here. So I, I don't know. It smells like plastic. Honestly, I don't. I don't get it. I don't know. Um, I don't. I don't think it's sent. I don't. Maybe mine's broken. I just think it smells like plastic. I don't think there's anything. I don't know. Cletus, what were you smelling, dude? I have no idea. So, I mean, the actual design of the pops. I got it out of the box. I might as well show you this. But the actual design of the pops pretty cool. Uh, as far as colors wise and, and uh, sculpt and paint and all that stuff, it's pretty cool pop. So you can see the back of it. So I, I, that's pretty cool. But as as far as the scent, I, it smells like plastic. So I don't know. Maybe I got a broken one. But we've we've made it through Barnes and Noble. We made it through Hot Topic, and we made it through Fye. So the last stop I made was at. Yeah, it was at GameStop. And honestly, I didn't even go to GameStop because I talked to my manager at the GameStop a couple days ago and I actually saw all these pops in person and he put them to the side for me, which is a great pro tip for you guys. If you make great connections with those who are working in your stores, you can get stuff like that. So I didn't wait in line. I didn't I didn't have to worry about it. I got to see them a couple days ago, put them on hold, done. So my wife, Mrs. Jetta, actually was awesome enough to go pick those up while I was out picking up other stuff. So. I got, uh, what is it, seven? I got seven. Yeah, I got seven of them. So th this one was a must-have, guys. This was number one on the list. This is Marvel Studios' first 10 years. Iron Man. So look at this thing. That is super freaking detailed, man. Now, they had one of these in the Collector Core box a while back, but I don't think it was this detailed. So I, I don't think it was. So this one's cool. This is Mark One Iron Man. Super cool pop. That one's definitely a keeper. Next up, I got, now this one I bought because I might do a giveaway or something, and that's really the only reason I bought it, because I'm no longer collecting this line. But they had a deal was buy three, get one free. So I bought, actually I bought two Iron Men, so I could give one to a friend. But, so I bought eight. So I bought three, bought six, got two free. And in order to make the math work, I just got this one, and I figured, what the heck, why not? So I got Dustin from the Snowball Dance from Stranger Things. And um, I, I absolutely love the show. I just, for whatever reason, decided I was going to stop collecting the pops. And which is funny because on the back of this box, I have every one of those still. And um, I don't know. 
I just thought it was cool. So, if you guys are still collecting Stranger Things, let me know. I know a lot of people are, because they're pretty cool. Uh, for whatever reason, I guess it was when I started going into Game of Thrones that said, I'm going to cut back on one line, and that, I just picked the Stranger Things as the line I was going to cut back on. So, next up, I got... Oh, yeah, so these are definitely going to show. Let me get them in the right order. That's not the right order. All right, so... If you're familiar with GameStop, uh, they had this deal, these three Conan Pops. So I got all three. I think they're really cool because they kind of go in transition. I'm glad they did not make them a three-pack because displaying three-packs, I hate it. So that's that sucks. So I got Conan O'Brien. This is just the regular one of him and his uh, work suit deal. That one's pretty cool. So I got that one. And then I got uh, the next one, which is more Superman-esque Clark Kent. Uh, you know, derivative. Uh, that's him pulling open his shirt, uh, revealing the uh, Super Conan C on the chest there. So that was cool. And then the last one is when I'm fully revealed with a cape. And that one's super cool too. So I kind of dig these, man. And I like, I think the concept of having them in stages like that, I think that's pretty cool. I, I think that was awesome. So Conan, well done on that one. I think that's pretty cool. So I got two more. This one I bought. I've never played this video game. This video might be long. Might be one of the longer videos. I don't know. I'm talking a lot. Anyways, I got uh, this video game I've never played, but I like to cook, as you guys know now. And uh, so that's why I got this one, because I got Soldier 76, only because he's got his uh, grilling apron on, and the gun doesn't hurt either, but I just thought that was a really cool pop. So that's why I got that one. So there's that. And then the last but not least... Last but not least, I got probably one of the more sought after ones. Uh, when it's all said and done and dust, dust settles, I think this is going to be probably one of the ones that uh, people are, who didn't get it are going to be upset about. And uh, that's Red Hood. So, who doesn't like a good villain? I mean, it's just, it's a cool pop. I just like the design of it. I like the colors of it. I like the box. I mean, it's just overall a cool freaking design. So, guys. Yeah, that, that's what I got so far. Now, don't get me wrong, I've got more coming because I got box lunch, which I had to order everything online. And if you're worried about me right now, I did get the Olana Tyrell, got that covered. Got the Neon uh, Tomatoa, got that coming. And I can't remember what else, but I got a couple things. But uh, so box lunch, I got that taken care of. GameStop was probably the ones I got the most of uh, between her, them and, uh, and Hot Topic, because I got a pile of Hot Topic. But I'm super excited about this stuff, guys. I can't wait to, over the next couple weeks, I'll uh, break some of these down. We'll do some reviews on them, show them off. Until then, comment down below and let me know what you picked up. Let me know what you were not able to get. Hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. That would be amazing. And let me know what you think about my haul. Did I go overboard? I don't know. I don't know. Well, you know what I say? Collect what you like. We'll see you next time.